First tonight, a North Kingstown man is arrested on federal charges, accused of sending a series of threatening emails to a college professor in Massachusetts. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Some of the contents of those emails released in the FBI affidavit are so graphic, we won't be sharing them. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Caroline? Well, Mike and Shannon, after his appearance in federal court in Boston this afternoon, Matthew Haviland is now being held until a hearing on Monday. The FBI details its case against him in this affidavit. It says North Kingstown police had conducted at least five wellness checks on the 30 year old since June of last year. In each instance, the check was at the request of someone who was concerned about Haviland's mental health. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. A clear pattern of threatening behavior detailed in more than 30 videos this North Kingstown man posted on YouTube and in this FBI affidavit. The FBI now says 30-year-old Matthew Haviland is charged with cyber stalking, accused of obsessively emailing a professor at a Massachusetts university who has published and spoken in favor of abortion rights and has highly critical views of President Trump. People are going to look back on abortion in 100 years and think, Man, these people were animals. The affidavit says Haviland emailed that professor 28 times over the span of three and a half hours on March 10th. Many of the emails are too violent and graphic to share. One saying, quote, you are evil, pure evil. All Democrats must be eradicated like the Confederates before them and among their ranks. The Democrat Party is what happens when you go absolutely soulless. Hours after he posted this video on YouTube, the FBI arrested Haviland at his North Kingstown home Wednesday afternoon. They then spent hours searching 75 Chaucer Drive for evidence. In their affidavit, a longtime friend of Haviland says, quote, within the last year, his views regarding abortion and politics have become more extreme. And when Mueller comes out and says no, there was no collusion. The FBI says other complaints and concerns it had received about Haviland concerned text messages he sent and videos he posted on YouTube. When asked about those during a wellness check this month, Haviland told police, quote, he was only expressing his political views and has no intention of harming himself or anyone else. He admitted that some of his language had been strong. Again, Haviland is being held without bail until a hearing on Monday. He faces up to five years in prison and a fine of up to $250,000. In an email, his attorney declined to comment. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.